Welcome back to Pine Tree State Restorations. In this video, I'm going to tell you what I've learned about the UV5R. Um, this is a Chinese ham radio um, that they sell all over the web, $20 to $30. Seem to be extremely popular with people. It is a um, decent little radio. Um, you're not supposed to use it on hand bands and uh, without a GMRS license and all that good stuff. So, you know, without a license, you're kind of limited. You know, other people may use them without a license, but you're not supposed to. But what I've learned about this radio is, is it works pretty good for transmitting and it works pretty good for general things, but it's got a very crappy receive in it. What I mean by that is... If you put this in your car and you try to scan on scanning channels with this radio, you're going to pick up all kinds of signals. The radio is going to be basically worthless. The factory settings for the squelch levels are horrific. And even if you adjust them in Chirp software, they still have a lot of problems. Now, channel mode. I have installed Chirp on this, and I yeah, have have see you pick it up, you pick it up an LED light right above my head right now, and it's causing static in the radio. Okay, so you have to use Chirp software to go into the radio. Whoops. Uh, Chirp software to go into the radio, and you have to adjust the service settings in Chirp for the squelch levels or the radio. Unless you just take it out in the woods, it'd be fine. But if you try to use it in a vehicle that's got a lot of RF noises, or like you pull up to a gas station, you're gonna it's gonna bzz, it's gonna buzz right out on you. It's gonna pick up all the coolers, the electric motors, whole nine yards. So there's a lot of work to do. To get this radio to work right, and even if you do all that, it still doesn't work 100% right. You got a lot of issues with the squelch levels and the receive. The receive on it, like I said, is not the greatest, so any interference anywhere, anytime, it's going to be in your radio. Now, I have several of these. I like them, but in a vehicle for scanning, you're almost better off buying a higher quality mobile scanner than you are using this you can do it but you're gonna have to have a really good roof antenna a good one a big one good coax and you're gonna have to adjust the service settings on the radio and then you can get this to work correctly otherwise not a whole lot of complaints but it's just the squelch and the scanning you got to deal with um I recommend anybody getting one of these to read a lot about Chirp software and how to program this radio and how to set this radio up. Yes, you can buy them and then you can use them right away and they'll work fine, but not as good as they could if you adjust everything in Chirp software. I have uh, the number nine squelch level set at 105, which uh, I think the original was like, 35, which is ridiculous because you can't block out anything. A Wi-Fi router will set it off. So you'll have to get that fixed. Otherwise, you know, if you just use it on a hiking trip or something or outside, not near anything electrical, you'll be fine. But highly recommend Chirp software and dealing with all these problems. When you turn this on, Channel mode. hit scan. Scanning begin. It'll start to scan. I have this all programmed for my area. And like I say, it works good as long as you don't have any electrical interference around. The moment you get electrical interference, you're going to have problems. And I tried using this in two of my trucks, and it was horrific. I mean, absolutely almost useless. So I had to reprogram the service settings for Squelch and put on a really nice 2-meter antenna on my truck and then i got it to work okay not as good as if you had a say uh a four hundred dollar icom or even a bearcat mobile scanner a high dollar one 
much better receiver uh, than this one here. I believe this is an SOHC receiver or whatever, but you got to get a better radio unless you do all these service settings on this radio. Otherwise, it's a good little radio. This is what I've learned about the UV5R. I hope this helps out. And uh, thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe and like. And we'll see you again on Pine Tree State Restorations. Have a great weekend.